Welcome to Maths Revision for Upper Primary. I want to explain how we can solve those problems in that paper. Question 1. What is the place value of digit 9 in the difference between 3 million 600 and 82,402 and 1,694,618. Now, this number, these numbers, if we write in figures, we get 3,682,402 minus 1,694,618. The difference is 1,987,784. Now the question is, what is the place value of 9 in the difference? This one here. Now this 4 here is 1s, this 10s, this 100s, 1000s, 10s, 1000s, 100,000. So the place value of 9 here is 100,000. So the answer is a hundred thousand. Number two, write forty-two million six hundred and eighteen thousand four hundred and two and seven thousand in figures. So this is the way I've done it. I've written forty-two million is here. Then six hundred and eighteen thousand it is here. Then four hundred and two it is here. Then 7,000 it is here. So I arrange these numbers according to place value. Then now I add them. After adding them, I get this number, which is written in figures. And is the answer, which is number B. So the answer is B. That's what we get. Now next is question number 3. In a town, there were 3,000 and 30 men, 2,580 women. The number of children was twice the number of men. How many people altogether were in the town? So, many were 3,030 women, 2,580, and children but twice the number of men. So you multiply the number of men by two, you get 6,860. When you add all the numbers there, you get 11,670. So the answer is B. That's how you can do it. Let's go to question number four. Okay, that is question number four. What is the least denominator that can be used in the addition of 3 over 4, 2 over 3, and 5 over 8. So we want to have the common denominator, and that's what we call the LCM, the least common multiple. Okay, for 3, 4, and 8. So this is how we get the LCM. We write the numbers there. 4, 3, and 8 that you want to find there LCM. So we use the prime factors. Starting with the 2, we have 2 here. 2 goes into 4 twice. 2 goes into 8 4 times. Now, these 2 and 4 are still, are still divisible. 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 4 twice. 2 is still divisible by 2. So 2 goes into 2 once. Now we still have 3 here. So 3 is what we choose here now. The, the other uh, prime factor. It is 3. 3 goes into 3 once. So we have completed. To be able to find the least common multiple here, we multiply these prime factors. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So we get 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 3 is 24. So the LCM for 
3, 4 and 8 is 24. So the answer is D, 24. Let's go to question 5. The area of a square plot is 1,764 square meters. Poles are planted at intervals of 4 meters. How much money does a farmer require to fence the plot if one pole costs shillings 2,220? 220. So what you need to do here is to find the square root of this area, this, this number here, because it's a square plot and it's the area. So to find the length of one side, we find the square root of 1,764. Now, we use this method to find the square root of 1,764. We write it here and use the prime factors. Starting with the 2, 2 goes into 17, 8. Then 1 into 16, 8. Into 4, 2. 2 again, 2 goes into 8, 4. Into 8, 4. Into 2, 1. Now, we use what? We use 3. 3 goes into 4, 1. The main 1 into 14, 4 times. The main 2 into 21, 7 times. Now, we use 3 again. 3 goes into 14, uh, 4 times. The main 2 into 27. 3 goes to 27, 9 times. And, say, and now we choose 7 here which can go into 49. 7 goes here 7 times. So we have these prime factors and to get the square root we, we, we multiply this one by this one by this one. We skip 1, 1 like that. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 42. So the, the square root of this number is 42. So the length of this side is 42. And because it's, because it's a square, all the sides are equal. So to, to get the perimeter of this square, you multiply 40 times 4, and you get 168 meters. So the length of that uh, plot is, the distance around is 168 meters. Now to find how many poles that were used, we divide 168, the distance around, divided by 4 meters because after every 4 meters a pole was placed. So if you divide this 168 by 4, you get 42 poles which were used. Now the cost of the cost of the fencing is the number of poles than the cost of one pole. Now that is 42 times 220 and you get 9,240 shillings. Now from our choices, we have uh, A as the answer, 9,240. Let's proceed to question 6. What is the next number in the pattern? 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 1.3, and 2.0. Now, to find the next number in this pattern, let's see, you can find the difference between the first number and the next and see if there is some pattern so uh, 0 0.7 minus 0 0.6 get 0 0.1 1.3 minus 0 0.7 you get 0 0.6 so it's like you are adding this number for the next to get the next one 0 0.6 plus 0 0.7 1.3 0 0.7 plus 1.3 2.0 Therefore, the next number will be 1.3 plus 2.0, which is 3.3. .3. So the answer is uh, B, 3.3. All right, number seven. The figure below holds 24.948 liters. If its diameter is 42 centimeters, what is its height? Take pi to be 0.7. This is a cylinder with a diameter for 2, for 2 cm and this height is required. To find the volume of a cylinder, we multiply the area of the, of the base. The base is circular. 
the area of the base given by pi r squared then times the height you can get the volume of that cylinder so from this formula we can get the height so we make the height to be the subject of the formula of the equation so you divide both sides by pi r squared so this term divided by pi r squared you get the height now this side also you divide volume by pi r squared so this being an equation what you do on the left hand side you do on the right hand side so here we are dividing the left hand side by pi r squared so we get this one here and this side we divide by pi r, we divide by pi r squared we get height so height is equal to volume divided by pi r squared now the volume has been given as 24.948 liters but because we are working in cubic centimeters we change this volume into cubic centimeters one liter is equal to a thousand cubic centimeters so to change this one into uh, cubic centimeters we multiply by 1000 we get 24,948 cubic centimeters divide by pi r squared it is pi times radius times radius okay so you can see seven goes here once seven goes here three so we have 22 times 3 times 21 that way so when you work out this one this divided by this will get 18 centimeters and that is the answer that is the height of the cylinder so the answer is d let's go to question 8 what is that 6.098 rounded to two decimal places so this number is three decimal places 0 0.098 now you want to round, round it to two decimal places so the number which will be affected is this nine for the second decimal place now you look at the number that is ahead of it if it is five and above we make this number to go up all right otherwise it will remain the way it is now eight is ahead of this nine so it makes it to become 10 so that will become the 6.10 so the answer is c that 6.10 this number is similar to this one here but because we are required to give it to two decimal places, that's why we are choosing this one here, C. Let's go to number 9. In 2004, the number of HIV patients recorded in a certain hospital was 360. After HIV awareness, the, patient, the patients decreased by 30% in 2005 how many hiv patients were there in 2005 so to find to solve this problem we use that percentage increase the percentage decrease 30 percent so 30 percent is 30 over 100 times the number of patients in 2004 which is 360 so when you work out this one you get 108 right you get 108 and that is there that that's what you get so in 2005 the patients were 360 minus that decrease you get to 52 so the answer is a 252 let's go to question 9 or rather question 10 Peter sent his son to a supermarket to buy the following items. Two kilograms of sugar at 60 shillings. Two, two kilograms of kasuku at 380 shillings. Two packets of, of pishori rice 
at 70 shillings and two packet packets x flour for 220 shillings he gave the shopkeeper 1500 shillings how much should he give the shopkeeper so as to get a balance of 300 now let's find the total cost of what he purchased two times two, two kilograms sugar to this so two times 60 shillings you get 120 two times 380 you get you get 760 two times 70 you get 140 and two times 220 you get uh, 440 the total is 1460 that, that's how much he is paying on those items now if he was to use the money he had he would be given a change of 40 shillings 1500 minus 1460 you get 40 shillings but is required to be given 300 shillings so how much does he give the shopkeeper that is 300 minus 40 to 60. So if we give the shopkeeper to 60, the shopkeeper would conveniently give him 300 shillings as change. Question 11. When 7.156 is divided by 1000, what is the place value of digit 1? Now, we divide 7.156 by 1000. What you can do roughly, you can add several zeros before 7, and then you count from where the small is. Because you are dividing by 1000, you will count uh, three decimal uh, parts, places, decimal places. So the decimal was here, so you can go backwards 1, 2, 3 because you are dividing by 1000. If you are dividing by 100, you just say 1, 2. You by 10, 1. But in this case, it's by 1000. So you divide by 1000, we, we count 1, 2, 3. So if you divide that number by 1000, you get 0 0.007156. The question is, what is the place value of digit 1? Now in this case, this is digit 1. Now, this zero here is tens, this hundreds, this thousands, this ten thousands. So the answer is ten thousand. The answer is D. Alright. Let's go to question 12. Anne scored 48% in mathematics and 46% in science. Express the total scores as a decimal. So we add to get the total scores, we add the two. That is 48%, 48 over 100 plus 46 over 100. You get this plus this is 94 over 100. If you divide 94 by 100, you get 1, 2, 0 0.94. That's the answer. All right. Next is 13. Question 13. A circular table of diameter 91 centimeters was decorated all round with the flowers placed at intervals of 11 centimeters. How many flowers were used? Take pi to be 20 over 7. Now, this table is circular. And to find the circumference of that table, the circular table, the formula is pi d. Circumference of a circle is equal to pi times the diameter or 2 times pi times radius. So pi is 20 over 7 times diameter 91. So when you work out this one, 7 goes from 7 once into 9 uh, once, uh, remain, remain it to 21, it goes there, 3. So 13. So, so, so this one becomes 22 times 13, which is 26. Alright? Now, so that's the circumference, the distance around the circle, the circular table. And the flowers are placed after every 11 centimeters. So we divide 26 by 11 to get the number of flowers that were put on the table. So this one divided by 11, 
is 26. 11 goes here once, into 28, twice. Remain 6, into 66, 6, uh, six times. Alright, so you get 26. The answer is A, 26. Number, next number, 14. A tank has a volume of 6.075 cubic meters. How many liters of water can it hold when full? Alright, let's see. One liter is equal to a thousand cubic centimeters. Because these are cubic meters. And one cubic meter is equal to 100 times 100 times 100 cubic centimeters. We get 1 million cubic centimeters and this is equal to a thousand liters because one cubic meter is equal to a thousand liters therefore if one cubic meter is a thousand liters then how about this number of cubic meters so this number of cubic meters divided by one cubic meter times a thousand will give you six thousand and seventy five liters so the volume of the tank when it's full is 6,075 liters. So the answer is, is actually C here. Question number 15. What is the total value of digit 8 in this number? Now, let's look at the place value first. This ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands so we have ten thousands times eight to get the total value so that is eighty thousand and the other is d eighty thousand number 16 after increasing the number of animals in a farm in the ratio five to two there were 140 animals in the farm what was the increase so the ratio is here 5 to 2 so this is how we do it the number of the animals in the farm before the increase let it be m so let's say it is m so when increased by this ratio 5 to 2 5 over 2 5 to 2 can be written as 5 over 2 so 5 over 2 times m gives you the the number of animals in the farm okay so let's solve for m we multiply both sides by 2. 2 times 5 times m over 2 is 5m is equal to 140 times 2. So to get m, we divide 140 times 2 divide by, divide by 5. So uh, we get 56. Because 5 goes here once, 5 goes to 14 2 times. Into 48. 28 times 2 is 56. So that is the increase okay that, that is that is the initial number of animals okay now the increase is the final value minus the original value 140 minus 56 you get 84 so the increase was 84 and the other in this case is d let's go to number 17 what is the total value of 4 in the sum of this one and this one okay this one is 8 million 326,825 plus 4,818,430 so we add these numbers like this we and you always observe the place value when you are adding otherwise you'll get it wrong so I'm uh, running it once uh, in line with ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, like that. So 5 plus 0 is 5, 2 plus 3 is 5, 8 plus 4 is 12, carry 1, 6 plus 8, 14, 14 plus 1 is 15, carry 1, 2 plus 3, 2 plus 1 is, is 3, plus 1 is 4, this 3, this is 3 plus 8, 11. 8 plus 4, 12, 13. So that's the, the, the answer we get. And we, we, are, we need to find the total value of 4 in the sum. This is the sum. And 4 is here. This is 1s, 10s, 
hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands. So the place value here is ten, uh, uh, tens of thousands. But how many are they? They are four. Four times ten. Four times ten thousand is forty thousand. That's the total value of four in this number, forty thousand. So the answer is A. Number eighteen. The following are the properties of quadrilaterals. One, all sides are equal. Two, diagonals are equal. Three, all angles are equal. Four, four, as a pair of parallel lines. Five, diagonals are perpendicular, bisectors. Six, opposite sides are equal and parallel. And seven, the sum of interior angles equals 360. These properties are not the same for every quadrilateral. So the question is, which properties are for all quadrilaterals? Now, we can use elimination. Uh, C, all angles are equal, is obviously, is obviously not right. So C and D are out. The other is between A and B. Let's look at B. Uh, opposite sides are equal. Opposite sides are equal. No, B is uh, 7. The sum of interior angles equals 360. Now this one is true for all quadrilaterals. That is four-sided figures. The sum of the interior angles are equal. 360 degrees. So the answer is B for question 18. Let's go to question 19. What is the parameter of the figure below? This is a rectangle and you will be given this side. This one x plus 7, 2 into x plus 2 and 3x plus 6. What do you know about rectangles? Opposite sides are equal. So this side is opposed to this one and they are equal. But we have been given their dimensions. So we equate this to this because they are equal. So x plus 7 is equal to 2 into brackets x plus 2 brackets. Alright. Now this one you can work it out. You can open the brackets 2 times x is 2x plus 2 times 2 is 4. So x plus 7 is equal to 2x plus 4. Alright, so we need to solve for x. We start by collecting the like terms. Uh, this 4 minus 4, then 7 minus 4. We subtract 4 from both sides. This is an equation, it's like a, a, a beam balance. What you do on the right hand side, you do on the left hand side. So here, we are collecting like terms. So we are subtracting 4 here and here. So 4 minus 4 is 0. 7 minus 4 is here, 3. Then this one here, 2x. 2x, uh, we subtract x from here and also x from here. So this x will go, but this will be 2x minus x, right, which will be x. So 7 minus 4 is 3. 3 is equal to x. So the answer is a, the value of x is 3. So if we, if we put x here, it will be 3 plus 7 is 10. 3 plus 2 is 5 times 2 is 10. You see? So the question is, what's the perimeter? So here it is 10. We have seen that. How about here? 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. So this one is 15. This is 10. 15, uh, 15 plus 10 is 25. Times 2. Because this is around to be 50. So we get 50 centimeters as the perimeter of this diagram. So the answer here is C. And finally, we have question 20. What is the area of the shaded part in the figure below? We have this triangle and a circle that is inscribed in this triangle. So to get the area of the shaded part, we get the area of the whole figure. This triangle minus area of the circle then shaded part. So the area of the triangle is equal to a half 
times the base from the height. The base is 64 centimeters, height is 3 centimeters. So I have times 64 times 13. Two goes here once, two goes here 32. 32 times 13 is 416 centimeters squared. Now for the circle, for this for the circle, the area is given by pi times the radius squared. So pi is 20 over 7. The radius is half of the diameter, that is 7. So 22 over 7 times 7 times 7. 7 goes here once, then goes here once. Remain with the 22 times 7, which is 154 square centimeters. So to get the area of the shaded part, you take the area of the whole figure, plus 16 minus the area of the unshaded part, 154. So you get 262 centimeters as the area of the shaded part. That is, the answer is A. So that's how we can solve those problems for upper primary. Uh, if you find it helpful, kindly subscribe to my channel to be able to see more videos.